Welcome to Ucanic. Today here in Ucanic we have a 2014 Volkswagen Tiguan uh, with the uh, TSI 2.0 motor. And we're going to go over how you'd replace your thermostat on this vehicle. The thermostat is located down below this air intake, uh, down be and below there. And so instead of taking all of this off, we're going to take off a bunch of other components and come up from the bottom so that we don't need to replace any other gaskets besides the thermostat one. So to start with you'll want to remove this air cleaner the air box and just up to here is fine and all this components out of here as well as the front mount intercooler lines to give you the access you need to reach up in there. So to remove this air box there is a uh, T30 screw here that you loosen up and then that's held on by a rubber grommet and then you'll want to pop this this connection off as well as this one is just held on with a regular um, spring clamp and so it's been removed as well as there's an electrical connector here for your mass airflow sensor so you'll just undo that electric connector then you'll be able to just pull this air box up and then if you, you can rotate it out and we can set this aside for more access just pop this little cover up and then if you just squeeze on both sides at the top here you can be able to remove this component and that just gives us some better access down in here that we will be utilizing when we're taking out the components for the, uh, the thermostat. Also up top there's a clamp right here that you'll want to loosen, a screwdriver or the, the socket that will go on there and you'll want to loosen that I've already pre-done it and then that way we'll undo this it's the our inner cooler intake that goes straight into the throttle body with that all done now we can move down to the bottom and be able to undo the components we need to down there so down under here we have a sensor here, this is your map sensor, um, and there's an electric connector that we've undone. And then there's two T30 screws, one that's right down here, and one that's basically directly above it, up top here. You'll need to remove those so that we can remove this whole thing out. And then the next is we'll need to undo the clip over here to be able to pop it out. Now these clips, you just need to pull just pull them back a bit and then you press out and once that tab is released from that tab then we can remove that. Now with that all removed we should be able to just work this thing out. And we'll set that aside. So the thermostat is up in here in the housing up there. So what we're going to do is going to undo this uh, connector here and drain out antifreeze. This is your engine temperature sensor or the coolant temperature sensor. We don't need to remove that, but we can remove the, the clamp on one or both sides. But we'll need to remove that and coolant's going to come out. So you're going to want a, a tray to, to catch your coolant. And, and dispose of it properly and then we'll be able to have more access to get up in there to get what we need to undone there. So I'm just undoing the uh, connector for the uh, engine temp sensor. There is a uh, T30 right here. We're going to undo just to move this little unit out of the way. 
give us some more space in there. Okay, so up on the housing there, or the thermostat, we have a T30 right here. And then on the other side is an Allen. And so, to be able to get that T30 out there, with some extensions and some wobbly. And we can be able to get the one done on this side, undone on this side. And then we'll work on getting this one done with the same kind of concept. All right, so we removed the one T30 on the uh, one side, and then over here. So I'm gonna just let that continue to drain, and then um, pretty sure that's five millimeter Allen. If you uh, most Allen wrenches, Allen sizes on Volkswagen are a five millimeter, and so we're gonna come back to that, and uh, I'll get the get an allen in there to be able to get that to loosen and then we'll be able to bring this whole housing out and the uh, thermostat is right in here so I've removed the thermostat housing which is this little component there was a uh, third uh, Torx 30 on this side and then on this side it was a five millimeter bolt and you can see as time to take it off and put back on it's it's not ideal uh, to be able to get off and on in many more times so I'm going to replace that with a different bolt which is just standard 10 millimeter but with the proper same thread pattern um, there is enough space uh, and clearance in there to do that so we're going to do that uh, thermostat itself has already been also been popped out and so it's prepped and ready for the new one. And then these hoses were connect, they connect here. They have only one way to go in. You just line up the right tabs and they connect and just press in and then lock in. But what you do is you take a screwdriver and you can be able to pull these out, just halfway out, and then you can work this hose off. And so I took that one off and took the one off that goes to the other side of the, the housing there of your water pump housing. This right here is your water pump and it's that all the housing built together with your thermostat built into it. So now we're ready to put the thermostat back in and so we put the thermostat in, we put the o-ring and then we've got to put this in and start the screws in. And so there are two different styles of thermostat and it depends, they vary on your, whoever manufactured your housing or your water pump. So you would want to be taking a look at that when you're, when you're purchasing one or you have to remove it and then buy the, the right one because they're a little, they're, they're different. So we work that in there best we can. And then we have the O-ring. Yeah. 
Now we're going to, it's sitting up in there. O rings holding it in a little bit. Slide this up in there and keep everything where we want it. So I've got the one in there. So we have installed the the housing cover that cover that holds your thermostat in onto your water pump on the uh, 2.0 TSI motor and we had our T30 over there we had our five millimeter Allen on this side I tried to replace it with a, a standard bolt nut uh, I didn't get the proper clearance that I needed so I was able to get the five millimeter bolt back in uh, maybe you want to uh, get a new one when you go through that process so the uh, the fluid has been drained out and uh, now we are able to put the components back on and so we have our little clip here we'll clean that up and then because you pull these clips out to undo them we're just gonna snap it in like that and then that way when we press it in these will widen out and then they'll lock into place we'll also want to make sure we get the uh, the gasket there a little bit lubed up we we'll just use some water there and now we'll be able to put this in now this will only go one way there are a um, little groove here indents but they're wider and not so you can't mistake and put them on the wrong direction there we go so that just clicked on into place and so that one's on and now we'll be able to reattach the lower hose here and move the clamp up and we lock that into place there we can also put this back in there's a t30 that holds this little pump on to that bracket and we have this electric connector to reconnect. And then we have the one for up top to connect up. Same concept with this one. Press that clip together and pull out to undo it. Clean it up. And then we'll add some water there to lube it up. And now Get this up into place, line it up, so that one's snapped into place, It'll be good there, make sure there, drive our T30 in here. into place it's hanging there you want to make sure you don't forget to put this electric connector up that goes to your temperature sensor and connect that into place 
and then you'll want to reinstall your cold air intake from your intercooler with the big tube here pushes in two t two t30s to plug it in there and plug it up to the intake and tighten the clamp that goes up there and that's everything from down here and then up top put the air box back in and um, be able to connect everything up there but put your air box back in and then you'll top off the system with the um, coolant that is required for this car. This car had green coolant come out and Volkswagens don't generally have green coolant so it will get the proper coolant put in there the G13 or 14 whichever one they're using today will be put in there pink or darker pink is what Volkswagen puts in their vehicles and so we will put the proper spec in there and then run it and get it up to temperature so that the thermostat opens fills up the whole system and top off the coolant and that would be how you would change your thermostat and also the way you drain this system is just by undoing the hoses here undo a clamp and drain out the system there's no uh, visible drain plug on Volkswagens at least none of the ones that I have worked on or that I own thanks for watching Eucanic where you can be the mechanic